and then there will be a transformation of the entire world into something which is new so if this is a world of space and of time that would be something which be different but we are not concerned with the end of the world no we are concerned with an age which will come before the end of the world and we have chosen to call this the end of history that in this end of history truth must triumph over all rivals justice must prevail in the world the security council of the united nations that bunch of crooks could do what they want governments could stamp their feet and jump however they want but justice will prevail in the world and the oppressor will bite the dust in the end of history this is there in the Quran where Allah says فَعَدَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ هُوَ الَّذِي أَرْسَلَ رَسُولَهُ بِالْهُدَى وَدِينِ الْحَقِّ He it is who has sent his messenger with guidance this is guidance not the stuff you get in the New Straight Times this is guidance, the Quran and the religion of truth that this religion of truth might prevail over all rivals history cannot end without this taking place however there is going to be an age which will precede that end of history culminate with that end of history and it is called and you are familiar with this term in Malaysia it is called Akhiru Zaman but for some strange reason I don't know why you say Akhiru Zaman tell me why it's Akhiru Zaman and Ilmo Akhiru Zaman in the English language is called Islamic now don't be afraid there's a big word now it's called Islamic eschatology I told you the big word it is Ilmo Akhiru Zaman when Akhiru Zaman comes then you're going to face the greatest of all tests and trials and nearly all of mankind are going to fail very few will pass this test and all those who fail will go into the hell fire Jahannam but Allah's messenger said that there will be some signs by which you can recognize that you are living in Akhiru Zaman and that is the topic of our lecture this afternoon Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam had performed the Hajj and revelation came down announcing this day have I perfected for you your religion completed my favor unto you and then he left Mecca and returned to Medina and now there are only about 81 days left in his blessed life it is at this time that the angel came 
the angel came in the form of a human being the angel came into the masjid Jibra'il alayhi salam and the angel asked five questions and of course you are all familiar with the five questions what is Islam what is Iman what is Ihsan when will the last hour come and what are the signs of the last hour he gave two signs and I want to share them with you today the first one very easy to recognize you just take a taxi and tell him I want to go to KLCC and you see it he said that you will find the naked barefooted shepherds people who take care of goats and sheep you will find the naked barefooted shepherds competing with each other in the construction of tall buildings in other words you have to be blind not to see <laughs> that you were living in Akhiru Zaman huh? if you do not have tall buildings in your city you are considered to be backward and so in Akhiru Zaman mankind will measure progress the height of buildings the taller the building the more have we progressed as a society hmm? and people who think that way and are proud of their tall buildings <laughs> Nabi Muhammad is saying to them that you have the brains you have the intellectual acumen of naked barefooted shepherds which is polite language I could use harsher language than that all around the world today the skyscrapers of Manhattan are being replicated every city and every town now has its little Manhattan skyscrapers including your Kuala Lumpur and so here is a sign of the last day which should function as a wake-up call but there are those who are so asleep nothing will wake them up no they have eyes and yet they cannot see they have ears and yet they cannot hear they have hearts and yet they do not understand Allah says of such people أُولَٰئِكَ كَلْعَامِ they're just like cattle they're just like cattle so what can you do for them whether you want them or you don't want them they don't bother with you so let us now turn to the other people who when they see the tall buildings they will shake they will shiver they will say this is what Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam talked about and I'm seeing it with my eyes I now live in the most dangerous 
of all worlds. But he spoke about his second sign as well. He said that a slave woman, oh, oh, so in Akhirul Zaman, there's going to be slavery. We don't have slavery behind us alone. We have slavery in front of us. In Akhirul Zaman, there's going to be slavery. He said a slave woman will give birth to her mistress. We don't have the time today to explain this hadith, but we've done it in uh, one of our previous lectures. And I have a very dear friend now, I must introduce you to my friend. My friend is called YouTube. <laughs> And this friend of mine uh, broadcasts my lectures. Sometimes within hours of my giving the lecture, right here you sit him sitting there. And then in France they can sit down and listen to the lecture. And now in France they are asking for French subtitles. So you will find on YouTube a lecture in which I have explained this subject. An Islamic response to Dajjal's modern Western feminist revolution. Hmm? But the slavery of which the Prophet spoke, alayhi salatu wasalam, is already here. And it is here because of something called riba. Riba is not only borrowing and lending money on interest but riba is also every ripoff and of course the biggest ripoff to have ever occurred in human history is the one involving bogus fraudulent and haram paper money and the money which is coming now, because paper money is on its way out, the US dollar, when last I heard about it, is in a special part of a hospital called ICU. You heard about ICU. In fact, I believe the US dollar is already dead, but they have a life support machine keeping it alive. And it will only be a matter of time before the US dollar is demonetized. Meaning, you cannot use the US dollar in the United States for buying and for selling. No, you can use it as wallpaper. And then they will replace the US dollar with some other currency, maybe a coin which will be worth five cents to the dollar. Of course, China is going to be very angry with that, eh? Because the Chinese have a whole pile of US dollars. And the Saudis are going to be very angry, eh? They have a whole pile of US dollars. So now you lose 95% of your wealth. Hmm? But what is replacing paper money now is something even worse. It is money you cannot see. It is money you cannot touch. It is electronic money. And you make this money by simply typing it in and typing it out. So whoever controls the banking system around the world controls the world. We are heading towards the financial Guantanamo. This is slavery, economic slavery. And it has already come to the world and now the news is tightening around the neck. Who is doing it? I now want to introduce you 